it, in each of you in your no no that's a no. sharpie <laughs> uh, we won't do that no. um, some of you mentioned it you know by way of um sort of pointing out things right you know where are the five um organizations that you want to work at right you mentioned the set, you mentioned, what's the name of the Performing Arts Center? The Palam. Palam? Pa pa yeah. Palham or Palam, I'm not pa sure. Palam, whatever it is, right? Yeah. You know, what are the five organizations that you want to, and you're going to sit and you're going to make a list, right? Um, you mentioned a modern and contemporary museums, mm -hmm. right? Um, where are the five modern contemporary museums in yeah. New York City? Yeah, Whitney, yeah. But also you're going to start thinking, right, you know, like sort of those are the, the first ones that come to mind, mm -hmm. right? Just you're going to look at the universe of um, contemporary art museums in New York City and then you're going to start thinking where are the, the top five that you're going to work with at. And nothing against those big museums that you mentioned, but sometimes one can make a more impact and a better career if certain museums are smaller. And, and that they give you a lot more opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. Queens Museum, Studio Museum, you name it. Um, so you're gonna make a list of those five organizations. You're going to, thank you, Jane. Um, now yeah. we're talking. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Thanks, thanks to the veteran coordinator. <laughs> I may take this one with me to the next class, just in case. Um, five <laughs> organizations, right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at their websites, you're gonna get familiarized with them, you're gonna sign up for mailing list, you're gonna know everything that happens, you're gonna attend their programs, you're gonna figure out if they have internships or volunteer programs. Right? What you're going to do is a little bit of stalking, but, um, but you want to get really familiar with that, those organizations. You want to understand what they do. You want to understand how they do it. And you're going to get, you're going to try to get into their network. The other thing that you're going to do, which is in parallel with that, and I could sort of overlap with those organizations is who are the five, and I say five, it could be three, it could be 10, you know, Whatever the number you can manage, right? Mm -hmm. Usually three to five is, is the easiest way. Where's the five people that you wanna become when you become a professional? You wanna be like Jenny Garsten, right? In mm -hmm. 10, 15 years. Do you wanna be Solana Chetman working at the shed, you know, in 10, 15 years? Who are those people? And this is when I get a, it gets a little creepier. Um, you know what um, Google Alert is? Yes. Yeah. You're gonna do a Google Alert for those people, right? And you're also gonna sort of do research. And you're gonna do this for two things. One, you wanna figure out, you know, do you know the phrase is six degrees of separation? Have you heard about that phrase? Mm -hmm. We heard, but I, I doubt I have. I so that, you know, we're all connected and, you know, like if you start asking, oh, like you know, you always, handshakes, you know, like, handshakes? like, yeah, okay. right. Sort of like you mentioned Jenny Garstein. I know her. There's a degree of separation between yeah. you and Jenny. Um, so LinkedIn is a good one. Um, any social media. You want to do this respectfully and without being creepy, right? Some people don't like, you know, LinkedIn is fine. Some people don't like to be bothered in social media for professional things, but um, you can do research without getting too invasive. 